My name is Tim Johnston. This is Recovery, Strength, Hope and Courage. If you're watching this video on alcohol withdrawal, then chances are that you want to change. And also the chances are that you know that you need to change, you have to change, because if you don't, that you're going to lose everything. Make, making this decision that you're making now and finding out about alcohol withdrawal and actually going to go through it is, is going to be probably the bravest and strongest decision that you'll ever make. Uh, but it'll also be the best decision that you will ever make in your life. The greatest decision, the one that will affect your life perhaps more than any other decision that you make. It's a turning point for you as it was for me. And I tried many times, many, many times in the past. And the last one I did differently, I'll tell you about now. And, um, and I'm now 18 months sober. I'm in the best position that I've ever been in in my life. There's no exaggeration about that. And those of you who will have watched past videos will, will, will have watched some of my journey. I mean, I made an alcohol withdrawal video before, uh, earlier on, when I, about six, eight months ago, when I first started doing this. I started doing this about a year ago. But now I, everything's become clear. I have more clarity in, in my life, and um, I feel in a better position now to perhaps talk about it a bit more. And perhaps put your mind at rest about, about a few things that uh, maybe you're worrying about. Because you've probably heard many, many horror stories about um, alcohol withdrawal if you've not been through it before. Either that or you've been through it before and um, you've not had a pleasant experience. And now you're very fearful about going through it again. And um, Or as I say, if it's avoiding the unknown for you and you've not been through it before, you want to find out more about it and and but you're still very very fearful because as I say you've probably heard many horror stories about it in the last video I made about opiate withdrawal um, I, I talked about turning what you know into what you do it was one of the, the big differences it, uh, for me this time getting sober for, both from opiates and from alcohol and um, I did three things really knowledge knowledge is power and I found out as much about alcohol withdrawal well I know but I'm talking about alcohol today so about alcohol withdrawal although I've been through um, withdrawal many times I was in a situation this time because I'd stopped opiates three months before but my alcohol use had, um, which which is always been really really bad all my life um, I'm more dependency most of my life um, had escalated to such an extent that it was it was almost killing me and um, I, it, it was awful I'm not going to go into that now because I've talked about it into other, in, in other videos but I knew I had to do something I knew I had to change I knew I wanted to live you know um, they said there's an old saying isn't it it's better to die on your feet than live on your knees and I was fed up of living on my knees and um, I just didn't want to die for me, but for my family, uh, for my daughter who's getting married this year, for, for, for both my daughters, for my wife, for everything really. I just owed it to all of us really and, and my friends and all the rest of it to get sober. So I, I researched as much knowledge as I could on um, alcohol withdrawal this time, which was more, more available than it was in the times I've tried in the past, as I say, with the internet. So knowledge, preparation and support, let me talk about that. So knowledge, I found out, um, because the first thing I want to say about alcohol withdrawal is you've probably heard about seizures and um, the fact. And there are more people, it is, a, it is a fact that more people actually die from alcohol withdrawal than heroin withdrawal. Um, and uh, that's quite a scary fact for some people, but let's, let's, bring, that, let's, let's bring that into perspective. It is very, 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 very rare to have seizures from alcohol withdrawal, although they do exist. Now, they exist because um, generally it's because A, if you're either prone to seizures, but B, uh, the, the quantity of alcohol that you're drinking. Um, so if your alcohol consumption has been um, ex extremely excessive, you know, you, you know that you're in the... In the the bottle of vodka a day category, if you like, or 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 sort of ten to twelve pint a day beer category, and you've been doing that for a, a long period of time. 
um, or even not you know even if you are slightly worried about it let me just say now because I'm not a doctor you know I'm not giving many medical advice here I'm just advising you if you're worried about it or if you think your consumption has been massively high and you're maybe prone to seizures or um, then go and see a doctor and get his advice or her advice um, and it may well be that they'll medicate you through your withdrawal and, or, or give you some sort of supervised withdrawal and generally do that with drugs like uh, benzodiazepine, li Librium or sort of benzodiazepine, other benzodiazepines, Xanax and, and those sorts of things and that eases the, the, the risk of uh, withdrawal or they may say you may need a, a hospital detox and they may uh, meet you to hospital for several days to have to be withdrawn but these are really rare circumstances Perhaps I should have done that. My alcohol consumption was massive, but I I, I had to go for it here. I didn't. I took an, I took a, a, not a risk because I knew in my heart that I wasn't going to have seizures and and, and whatever. But um, I went cold turkey, and 90% of people can do this. And um, but if, if you're worried, you know, get consulted, doctor. But 90% of people have no um, no seizures, or a lot, a lot more, sort of 99% probably. But anyway, cold turkey was the way for me. So knowledge was, I wanted to know what was going on in my body, like I did with my opiate withdrawal, because I'd had, I'd experienced. Now, let me tell you some of the symptoms that you're going to um, experience. Now, you may or may not have um, all, some of these symptoms or all of them, or some people are unlucky and get them all. Some people just get one or two, depending on the quantity that you've been drinking, the length of time that you've been drinking for. Um, it, it's all variable. The size of you, the, your sex, um, your body weight, you know, your body weight, your metabolism. It depends on so many different things, the, the severity of this. But you are going to, you know, in alcohol withdrawal uh, or delirium tremens, as they, you know, some people like to describe it, has, has some of the following sort of symptoms. And, and I experienced all of these quite severely this time but um, I had prepared for it, which I'll come on to in a second. So shaking, hands in particular, but whole tremors throughout your whole body, um, not being able to, able to hold a glass. I got straws um, to drink with, that, that was be, for those first. Now these symptoms, by the way, um, can last a day, two days, three days, for very unlucky people, four or five days, but generally two or three days sees the worst of them pass. And then you come into early recovery um, where the, it's the mental stuff that you're needing to deal with and living life sober, which I've made other videos about. And please look back in my other videos about early sobriety and, 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 and uh, how to deal with that. That's not a, this is not about that, this video. This is about just getting to this withdrawal. So two, two to four days maximum. Um, it, it, it was about four days for me this time um, when it was really, really bad. So the shaking... Um, sweating and now that, that, that the, the shaking happens because of the nerve damage you've done and the, and the damage you've done in, in your brain with drinking and um, your body shakes the nerves and, and it's a look at the, look at every one of these symptoms as your body trying to reach homeostasis trying to balance itself and to do that it has to get rid of the toxins and it has to uh, heal and every every part of your body with alcohol has to heal because the damage you've done it so the shaking the hypothalamus in the brain is is affected to temperature control so it can't it goes haywire for a few days so sweating uncontrollable shivering and sweating at the same time you're leaking you know you feel cold but you're sweating hot sweats you know it's 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 um, not pleasant at all um, so there's that there's there are um, I got very bad to gourd, they call it, um, gastroesophageal reflux disease, where, uh, because I've been drinking for such a long time and such quantities, it, it was like severe heartburn, trouble swallowing, um, horrible feeling. Um, vomiting and diarrhea, they, they happen uh, for those first few days, it can't be helped. Um, hallucinations, now this varies from person to person. Don't be scared by, you know, by this because it's very fleeting and certainly it's quite rare but, um, and depending again on the quantities you're drinking. I did see a lot of sort of little black shapes. They didn't sort of form into monsters or anything like that, but um, little black shapes and it was shooting around everywhere. Don't be scared by that. Again, it's just your brain healing and um, you're going you're gonna to feel massive anxiety 
and perhaps a black depression that's because you have affected because you've been drinking for such a long time your serotonin and dopamine levels have been used to being artificially stimulated by alcohol as your adrenal glands have um, have stopped working properly as well because of the alcohol have suppressed those so what happens then is you, you, when you stop drinking your body does stops to make stops making serotonin and dopamine um, it, or it makes it really slowly in small quantities so that's where that depression comes from see it as what it is it's just your body healing you're gonna have to get through it the hardest part of getting through withdrawal and let me tell you whatever whether it's opiates or alcohol is the little voice in your head you've got to fight that little voice in your head which is telling you that if you go down to the corner shop if you can make it out or if you and, and obviously if you prepared properly for this and I'll come on to that in a second there'll be no alcohol in the house at all anywhere but if you know you've got some money and you can go and get alcohol and you know that a, a swig of alcohol will take all this horrible symptoms away just as a pill with with, with opiate withdrawal will then you know that you know that's what you've got to fight you've got to tell and see that voice for what it is just your brain playing tricks on you and you've got to fight it because if you really got to want this so see that for what it is because it's going to be telling you your brain wants to feel comfortable that's what it's programmed to do so it will play tricks on you and it, and, and it will tell you and the voice will get louder and louder and louder if you let it one drink will help you feel better one drink will help you feel better and it just push it to the back of your head make sure you've got plenty of entertainment um, like dvds and motivational videos to watch and stuff like that um, all tucked away prior um, insomnia now your adrenal glands will switch back on and, and that'll be a surge of adrenaline which will be last a few days and that will cause probably insomnia um, and uh, which is not pleasant but you it's a short term short term thing for a long term gain this you know so you have got to get through it so make sure you've got again entertainment plenty of books to read and stuff like that and, and walk around if you're feeling uncomfortable because it will cause agitation and um, uh, all that sort of stuff as well this adrenal this adrenal surge so all these symptoms are you know these these symptoms and you'll you'll get loads of aches and pains in your body and and that's again that's all been covered up by the alcohol so it's just your body your nerves getting back to normal again you're starting to feel again your brain is starting to click in and start to make chemicals again and starting to heal so all this stuff that's going on will only last a few days now there'll be some sort of hangover with the depression and the maybe the agitation and the the getting used to um, living life sober again which again look at my other videos that they will address or help you hopefully my experience will perhaps help you address those but that's all you're going to go through with the 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 you know phys physical wise you know there um, there's not a lot more with alcohol withdrawal than it sounds a lot though but it is you know you, you've got to just fight to get through that discomfort for those few days because the, the long-term gains the, there's not one aspect of your life that won't improve because of this don't forget that so that's your knowledge you know that it's not going to kill you you know you've been to see a doctor perhaps you've perhaps had a little bit of medication to help you get through it if you're really worried but uh, generally most most people can do this cold turkey um, and and uh, so you're getting through it so that's your knowledge your preparation is I mean I made sure I had loads of because nutrition is so important with this you're not going to feel like cooking you, you'll have no energy um, you won't feel like going out to buy food I had loads of really healthy smoothies in the fridge and freezer vegetable and fruit smoothies enough for, enough for two weeks really but I only needed it for about a week so I was constantly sipping at those so your body's getting the chemicals and mic macronutrients and micronutrients and vitamins it needs to heal and your brain is getting those drinking plenty of water you know all these things again i address these in my other videos but so preparation that's your that's your food preparation plenty of clean bedding and clean clothes all your laundry done before you go into withdrawal so that you have clean clothes because you stink you're sweating all the time your bedding gets dirty and sweaty and smelly so being able to change that regularly so have all that done ready you um, have support in place it's so important this if you can if you've got a, uh, your spouse can take some time off you've also got to plan because your planning and preparation is so important to have time off work for a few days if you can and also if you have children small children or even older children make sure you've got either your partner's going to be able to look after them for a few days or you or the grandparents can look after them for a few days so you've got this two to four to five days if you like to focus on yourself 
and to get through this withdrawal. So your job's taken care of, your children are taken care of, your food's taken care of, your laundry's taken care of. You don't want to be thinking and, and support also moral support from your partner. You know, it's so important. If you've got people that live with you who can who can keep an eye on you and and give you support, that's fantastic. If not, get onto the groups, get people constantly keeping focus on you and keeping in touch with them and, and in touch with whether it be local AANA or whether it be Facebook private groups or friends and family and obviously you know all those people at the either the end of the phone or in with you helping you and supporting you so important it keeps you motivated and and also if anything goes wrong if you do get sick in, in any way there's someone there to deal with it for you so that's that so that's all your preparation i go into this in great more detail in the um preparing for withdrawal and early recovery videos so look back at those so that's it really please don't be scared of this fear fear can create and can paralyze you and, ca and cause terror and it causes inaction and then you don't do this if you're feeling as though you're not motivated enough just to, uh, and you don't need to stop drinking let me tell you that drink does not bring you and focus on this when you're in withdrawal it doesn't bring you anything positive at all you think it gives you confidence it makes you into a gibbering idiot that's, that doesn't know what he's, he or she is doing or saying um, and makes you look stupid. Um, it helps you relax. It just sends you into a coma. It, may, it, doesn't, it, it, makes, you, it makes you for unhealthy sleep and it's, it's a false feeling of relaxation. It's a stimulant. It, it's, not, it's not something that knocks you out. You know, it's a stimulant to your system. It cheers you up. It's actually a depressive, so it just makes you 100 times more uh unhappy in the long run um it helps me forget well when you wake up from your alcohol it wears off you remember a hundred times worse it makes everything much worse it doesn't help any situation because you can't deal with any situation you can't you can't do anything your 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 hands are tied by this poison that you're putting into your body when i'm sad it makes me you know it helps me it makes me happier well, it doesn't. It makes everything much worse and it makes you sadder. It makes you into a, a deeply unhappy, depressed person. And if all this wasn't enough, you know, and you say, oh, have it as a reward at the end of a hard day. Well, what's wrong with a, a, a cup of tea and sitting with the ones that you love? Because you'll lose them. The thing is, you'll lose them. You know, you will lose them. It will take everything from you. It'll take your family, your friends, everything that's dear to you, your, 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 your money, your career, your house your uh, eventually your health and when it's taken your health when it's finally taken that it will kill you there is not one good thing it is a poison it is the one of the only drugs that go through the blood brain barrier it poisons every single system in your body there is nothing good about it and those people who say they can moderate if you're looking at this video you cannot moderate moderate trust me you cannot you have to take this poison out of your life because it, 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 it's been the single best thing I've ever done in my life and should have done a lot sooner. But no point in regrets or looking back because life is great now. And that's all that matters, that life is great now and everything's coming back to me. A person without a courage dares to die. A person within a courage dares to live. So dare to live, dare to live without this poison. You can't moderate. You can't moderate. You have to take this out of your life. It's It's... You know, it causes so many illnesses from cancers to heart disease to circulatory disease to brain disease. It kills, it kills your brain. It t turns you into a vegetable. It poisons, you know, and, and these people that say for you, it, it say it's good in moderation for your body. That's, that's a myth. It's a myth. It doesn't have any benefits to your body at all. It is, a, it is like drinking bleach. You might as well just drink bleach. Anyway, that's enough preaching. I didn't really want this video to be preaching. Please do this. Carpe diem. Seize the day today. Get the knowledge behind you. Watch as many videos as you can. Get as much information off the internet as you can. Know your enemy. Know your enemy, which is alcohol in this case. Know what it's doing, doing to you. And know that you can get through this and it won't kill you. It, it, it will be the single greatest decision you ever make in your life. And... Um, it will bring you many, many, many gifts. So go for it. If anyone needs any help, email me. I'm more than happy to help anyone and support anyone. Much love to you all. See you again. Bye-bye.